I'm going to show you how to turn these dehydrated sweet potatoes into this, delicious fried sweet potatoes. Let me show you how. If you already know how to dehydrate sweet potatoes, just skip ahead to the second half of this video to see how to make the fried sweet potatoes. Here is an overview on how to properly dehydrate sweet potato slices. Okay, this part is pretty easy. You just want to boil your sweet potatoes until tender. And it's going to depend on the size of your sweet potatoes, how long that takes. But you can put in a wooden skewer to test the doneness. Or you can wrap the sweet potatoes in foil and cook them for about an hour at 350 degrees. Be sure to thoroughly cook your sweet potatoes. Otherwise, they will turn black when dehydrated. However, don't cook them so much that they turn to mush. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes. As you can see, this goes all the way in really nice. So it's done. Now I have to drain it. Drain well and then add cold water to stop the cooking process. And then you're going to want to drain it again. Now I'm just going to wrap them in foil and pop them in the refrigerator. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow to show you the second step. Your sweet potatoes have been in the refrigerator overnight. Now it's time to remove the peel. And as you can see, it just comes off really easy once you cook them in the refrigerator. It just peels right off. Slice your potato in about a quarter inch slices. Try to get them as uniform as possible so they all dry about the same time. And I give them a generous quarter inch. <laughs> and now you just want to put them on your tray and you want to leave space in between so the air can circulate. And there goes one of my cats trying to help out. They're always so much help when you're cooking or making a video. Just be careful when you put them on the tray because you don't want to Rip the slices, like that one. Now just continue doing this until you've sliced up all your potatoes. Your dehydrator should be set at 125 degrees. Place your trays in the dehydrator and dehydrate from approximately 12 to 14 hours. It really depends on the humidity and the thickness of your slices. It took about 14 hours in my dehydrator. You want to make sure they're very dry. They're just a little flexible. When you're done dehydrating the sweet potato slices, place them in a vacuum bag or canning jar and vacuum seal for long-term storage. If you're new to dehydrating, the Ultimate Dehydrator Cookbook is an excellent resource. I'll leave a card for my review on this book. Here's how to make the fried sweet potatoes from your dehydrated slices. To rehydrate, just pour boiling water. And then wait about 15 or 20 minutes. Now you want to drain your rehydrated sweet potatoes. Yeah, get the last one. Now arrange your rehydrated sweet potatoes on a plate and you want to pat them dry. Now heat up a little butter in your frying pan and place your rehydrated sweet potato slices in the pan. Can you hear it sizzle? 
a couple minutes on one side should get them toasty and then flip them over to get the other side browned. Now just dish them up, sprinkle with just a little pepper, a little salt, and I like to add a touch of cinnamon. Doesn't it look delicious? And it's made from rehydrated sweet potatoes. It really makes great fried sweet potatoes. And now the taste test. Mmm. Moist. A little crispy on the outside. Delicious. Hope you try it. This is Prepper Potpourri asking you to please subscribe and share the knowledge. And thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video.